Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how I achieved this ceramic mug. Um, I did paint it a different color using spray paint and then I added some designs to it. Um, and then I sealed it using Bright Tone from the Crystal Act Company. If you guys have any questions, as always, don't hesitate to ask and then go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. To prep the ceramic mug, I did go in with a 400 grit sanding paper and I sanded the, the ceramic mug as I would a tumbler. Um, and then I went in with this um, spray paint. It's called Gumdrop from Krylon and I purchased it at Lowe's. I went ahead and spray painted the entire mug and then I did wait 24 to 48 hours for it to off gas. It's important for you to wait the 24 to 48 hours for the spray paint to do its chemical reaction and off gas um, before adding any bright tone to any tumbler or cup or mug or anything. So this is what the bright tone looks like and it's what I use um, on my tumblers and it's what I use on this ceramic mug. Um, I like to show what the bright tone looks like. I know some of you are um, new to bright tone. So this is what it looks like. It is a um, epoxy free alternative. It is a water-based product and it's non-toxic. Since it is non-toxic, you don't need to wear any personal protective equipment and it does have a 30-day curing um, time. After five to seven days, the cup or mug that you do is okay for light use, of course, following proper care instructions. So I'm going to start off with a coat of Bright Tone. I like to do on my mugs, I do like to do the handle first since it is a little bit harder to do while the cup is spinning. So I go ahead and just add a little bit on the um, handle and then I go ahead and add um, Bright Tone to the rest of the cup while it's spinning. So this is my first coat of Bright Tone and I'm just going to add a thin coat. Um, you just want to have enough product on there to where your cup isn't dripping. And then I'm going to let my cup spin for an hour and then dry for an additional three hours. So while that dries, I'm going to go ahead and cut my image that I'm going to be adding to my um, mug. This is printable vinyl and I'm using the print then cut um, feature on design space. And I'm using my Cricut Explore Air 2 to go ahead and cut that out. So after cutting my image, I am going to be sealing them using a clear spray paint. You want to seal them so that they won't bleed under bright tone. I'm going to be using this Rust-Oleum um, clear gloss spray paint. I'm going to add two coats of this spray paint and I'm going to wait 20 to 30 minutes in between each coat. When using any type of spray paint, you do want to wear a respirator mask and ideally you probably want to be outside um, if the weather permits. It's been raining where I am, so um, I'm doing it in my garage with a respirator mask on. Since you are using spray paint to go ahead and seal these images, you are going to have to wait 24 to 48 hours for them to off gas before you add any bright tone. Along with my images, I am also going to be adding these vinyl pieces to um, my ceramic mug. If you have any Cricut related questions or want me to do any Cricut related videos, just go ahead and drop that in the comments and I'll be sure to get to it. So now I'm going to be adding this um, a gold vinyl piece before I add my image. This I just added it to just give it a little bit of a pop. To the image here i did get some air bubbles and i just used my exacto knife to just go ahead and pop that and get the air bubble out using my scraper tool i then added my image
And then on the other side, I just went ahead and added the rest of my vinyl designs. This um, transfer tape that I'm using here is actually shelf liner and it's from Walmart. I purchased it at Walmart and it's the Duck brand. I'll go ahead and link it down on the video description. You get way more than transfer tape and it works just as, as good. So here I am just adding um, another coat of bright tone on top of my designs and I'm just going to continue coating until I am satisfied with my gloss finish. Um, since this is just designs and no glitter, um, it's not going to take that, as much um, coats of bright tone as a glitter cup would. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to continue coating until I'm satisfied with the gloss finish. And then this is how the cups turned out. The cup turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, like I said, don't forget to give it a thumbs up.